Running northwards from the centre of the village of Kilve is Sea Lane. It's joined from the east by Hilltop Lane, about halfway down, and then leads on to one of Somerset's most renowned beauty spots. The lane terminates at a privately owned car park, screened by woodland, that allows visitors access to Kilve Beach, which lies within the area of outstanding natural beauty. It's a busy place, particularly in summer, and was especially so in 2020 when Covid restrictions saw a lot of people visiting local attractions. In the summer of 2020, without any consultation or planning permission, the landowners, East Quantox Head Estate, installed new signs, new ticket machines and an automated number plate recognition camera. They also created an additional car parking area. No fewer than 13 signs on substantial metal poles were installed, creating an intimidating visual impact entirely at odds with the area of outstanding natural beauty. The camera on its spike protected pole hardly fits in either. The new parking areas either side of the lane have destroyed valuable wildlife and wildflower habitats and have now become muddy eyesores. This photograph was taken about five years ago and it can be seen that the green space either side of the lane was protected by stout wooden posts. This is the same view today. The verges had been allowed to grow wild creating valuable habitat for small mammals and birds. Now they are reduced to barren mud, truly an eyesore in an area of outstanding natural beauty. Frustratingly, it's entirely unnecessary. New visitors will often park here unaware that the original car park, only a few hundred metres further on, has plenty of space and is a lot less muddy. Many visitors who have parked down here though have complained that they've been issued with automatic £60 fines because they didn't get back to the ticket machines within 15 minutes of passing the camera. Often they said they'd expected the machines to take card payments and they don't, so wasted valuable time searching for coins. Visually the original car park is screened by trees and bushes so it fits in well to the AONB. There is a concrete plinth where previously ticket machines stood. Surely the new machines and camera could be placed here for reduced visual impact. Years ago, it is true, a machine here was vandalised, but presumably the new machines have enhanced anti-theft features. At a meeting between Kilve Parish Council and the East Quantox Head Estate, held after the new car parking arrangements were installed, a proposed new alternative was put forward. If the existing car parking area was fenced off, shown by the yellow line, then the camera and ticket machines could be placed at a single entrance exit point. This would have the additional benefit of allowing visitors to the cricket club access to it via the lane, shown in blue, without risk of being incorrectly fined. This sensible suggestion was dismissed out of hand by East Quantox Head Estate. We are formally objecting on three counts. Firstly, new signage. There are an excessive number of signs and the design of them is not in keeping with the location. It's caused a significant adverse visual impact on the area of outstanding natural beauty. Secondly, the location of the new ticket machines and camera. They've again caused a significant visual impact on the area of outstanding natural beauty and also are causing unnecessary fines to be levied on visitors to the beach and to the cricket ground. Finally, the extension of the new car parking area. This has created a huge negative impact on the area of outstanding natural beauty from a visual point of view and, worse still, the destruction of valuable wildlife habitats. We would expect that this area should be returned to its green state.